Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for June 1st th through the 4th, Monday through Thursday, for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. How are you? Well, you know, when it's Monday through Thursday, again, my two Radley Valentine decks, I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for my main message, and then I try to pull just one from my Angel Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Couple of things. One is the full moon is on June 5th at 1.12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? It will be in Sagittarius. It's going to open up a lot of new ideas, new thoughts. It's got a, a lot of new possibilities. It's very optimistic. Now, the other thing is that I will be answering my comments because you know I love to hear from you all in my um, Facebook messages and any of my emails. I needed, you know, I've had a lot happening in my life too. And so, you know, you just need to make sure you um, watch, you know, everybody needs to watch their own energies. Okay, but I will be doing that this week because I love to hear from you. Okay, let's go on. Now, you know I am an intuitive channeler. What that means is that I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the message is for whoever is out there that needed to hear it, it comes through. Okay, three cards are face down. The middle cards reversed. Reversed cards to me are strong energy. So let's pay attention to that card too. So let's go and see Monday through Thursday for my Libras. And Libras, I don't know why, but I'm feeling a lot of Leo energy for you. I think we felt that for the weekend too. But I'm, you know, a lot of Leo energy. So that could actually be, you know, um, you know, well, that would also with Sagittarius coming, because Sagittarius is a fire sign, Leo's a fire sign. But you know, and also too, remember full moon, release, relinquish, request. Okay. But like feeling a lot of Leo energy. I don't I, I don't know if that's for you to, I think it's for you to tap into. I think it's for you to tap into. For you to tap into that fire energy and be bolder than, you know, be very, yeah, it's going to embolden you. How's that? Okay, Monday through Thursday, first card, all face down. Here we go. This one's the wheel. The wheel, Archangel Jeremiah, number 10, 10's transitioning, you know, something's ending, something's going to be moving in, something's going to be changing for you. The, you know, the wheel, as it moves forward, moves forward, moves forward. We are in Gemini energy right now. It is an air sign like yours. Be prepared to make some, be prepared to make some changes. And I, you know, and I don't know, there's somebody, a domicile, domicile comes to me. You know, and that's your home, that's where you live. So somebody might be either doing a complete remodeling in their home or they are actually changing and maybe possibly getting ready to sell their home or sell or move, you know, move their apartment, however that is. But I'm feeling like, you know, get prepared for changes. And now if you feel that your work is your change or it could even be, oh my goodness, I, you know, duh, duh. You know, if everybody's been working out, if you've been working out of your home, be prepared to not work out of your home, okay? Because I'm feeling domicile very, very strongly, whoever, whatever that means. But changes, things moving forward, it's time, you need it, go for it. Okay, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. This one's reversed, here we go. This one's Ace of Michael. Michael is your energy. It's also Gemini, Aquarius energy, thought processes, words, and hearing news. Aces are, again, new starts, new beginnings, challenging news. Something You're going to hear something. So that goes right along. These two are like marching right next to each other. You could be hearing news this week. Again, domicile, change in domicile, change, you know, you know that keeps coming to me. Okay, so I'm going to keep saying it to you. It's going to be something that you're going to think about. You're going to kind of process it. Again, I'm feeling that Leo energy, so you know, and it could be because of that Sagittarius full moon, but that Leo energy, I feel like, so it's either that you're going to coordinate with the Leo, but I feel like it's you pulling that in and getting, finding that inner lioness or inner lion, you know, to really just keep you moving forward. I feel that, you know, so this could also be for anybody that has Leo in their signs, you know, you know, rising, um, um, you know, Venus, Moon, or anybody that has that in there too. But if, even if you don't, my, 
you know, my Leo, my Leo, ah, my Libras, that Leo energy is really strong around you right now. Okay. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Okay. Last card up is the nine of Gabriel. Now, Gabriel is Leo, Sagittarius. It's also Aries energy, fiery, passionate, burning, very determined energy. So here we have your one new start. Here we have the 10, transitioning. Nines are kind of like something's wrapping up. Now it's time for you to move forward. But this is about, again, this is stay determined, stay on course, stay, you know, go for what it is you've been wanting to do. Because my Libras, I feel like there's a Libras out there that, you know, yes, with all the stuff that's happened in the world, you know, it might have stopped you, but this is that time to get going again. This is that time to move forward again. And you need to keep your, you know, and, you know, we say this periodically, but your eyes on the prize. This is that time for you to, to have some trust uh, in your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is, but also to have some trust in you. Because my Libras, you do, I mean, you do plan. You do see things very, very clearly. Sometimes, though, you weigh it against, you know, you're the balancer, you, you know, you're weighing it against what is the outcome, and sometimes that's a little scary, but this energy is really, really pushing, this is really moving forward type of energy. Domicile keeps coming to me. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility, environmental activism. So with the environmental activism, that's really just kind of a, that's a little bit strange, that, that hits me in different ways. But this is like you being, you know, you being, um, carrying the torch, you, you know, going forward, you know, just saying, this is kind of very warrior spirit to me for this card right now, for you, okay? So let's go on, one last card. So I like, I love this energy, you know, not, it's not always easy, it's not always easy, but here we go. Last card is reversed, face down. The Knight of Air. Knight of Air, again, this is your energy. Knights are very focused. And this, this just kind of wraps up the whole this whole reading now. Again, eyes on the prize, focus. Keep on, keep it, keep going. Don't allow the distractions to pull you off. Okay? That's the thing is that with my my Libras, when you're focused, when you're doing you know, sometimes, you know, that's when people or that's when other energies come to you and they're like, oh, no, 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 that's not the way. And it helps and, and that that other energy helps to um, helps. It causes self-doubt. OK, it causes you to doubt yourself. You know what? You are enough. You are enough, my Libras. You're you know, if you're thinking this is what you need to do, go do it. OK, OK. So, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. Stay focused. Stay focused. But, you know, it does say review, review your options, but that's, but my Libras, you do that all, you always do that. Like I said, you balance it. So, at this point in our readings, as I post this today, we are so close to the 20,000 subscribers. Kind of scary, but I know that I, you know, I want to thank you, my Libras, because without you, you know, this would not be happening. So thank you. And as always, my Libras, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.